Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Thursday the 23rd of September 2021. I hope you have your Bible with you uh, because morning prayer consists of readings from the Bible as its core element uh, with uh, songs to amplify uh, and help them to apply to our lives and prayers. But the Bible's the heart of it and you'll need one for yourself to be able to read. Let's ask God to fill us with his spirit, putting his self on our hearts and on our lips today. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Stephen and I have a project to sing through the whole of the Sing Praise hymn book during the year. And the hymn which Stephen has picked today uh, is by Michael Perry on the healing ministry of Jesus. We give God thanks for those who knew the healing power of Jesus' touch. And it's about the way that his healing ministry continues in our love and care and prayer for each other. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalms set for this morning are Psalms 56, 57 and 63. I've often wondered whether Psalms 56 and 57 are alternative versions of the same prayer by David. Uh, they're both Davidic paranoia and they both express the truth that when we've got our backs against the wall, we can turn back to God and expect him to do something about our situations. Uh, here's a metrical version of Psalm 56. Oh, God, you delivered me from 
from death, O oh God, you have set me free from all the threats. In God the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mortal men do to me? What can mortal men do to me? And you might like to pause the video and reflect on those psalms in your own Bible. In the Old Testament today we're looking at 2 Chronicles chapter 6 verses 1 to 21, the first part of Solomon's prayer of dedication in the newly built temple in Jerusalem. Please pause the video and read it yourself. According to Chronicles, the temple is the main way in which God's love and mercy is shown to his people who don't deserve it by sacrifice. Of course, it's fulfilled in the New Testament, and our reading today in the New Testament uh, is from Mark chapter 13, verses 14 to 23, where Jesus prophesies the destruction of the temple and a time of great difficulty for the people. Please pause uh, the video and read that in your own Bible. Well, the passage is commonly known as the Little Apocalypse uh, in Mark's Gospel. Uh, it looks forward to the end times and warns us what might come. There are other similar passages in the New Testament, and here's a hymn based on 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, which covers something of the same material. It takes up the theme at the end, stand firm and be alert, uh, and keep on uh, and we'll be okay in the end. Sons of the light and daughters of day, we'll keep alert as we watch and we pray. Faith, hope and love as we follow the way that God has revealed through Jesus. Of dates and times we do not need to ride the day of the Lord like a thief in the night. Suddenly comes bringing terror and fright on those asleep in their dreams. Sons of the light and daughters of day, we'll keep alert as we watch and we pray. Faith, hope and love as we follow the way that God has revealed through Jesus. As labour pains on a woman with child, comes then the end like a blast from the wild, catching them out who in sin were defiled and were asleep in their dreams. And so let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you that although we are set in a world where there is much difficulty, much suffering, uh, much need of healing, as well as much conflict, you, the Lord our God, are still there, still in charge, and still available for your people to call on, so that we may be delivered from what afflicts us, and find your peace and glory in our lives. Help us to turn back to you now, and find you in our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for the magnificence of the temple building in the Old Testament and the way it reminded people of your love for them. We pray that in our world, church buildings would have the same effect on people. And we ask for your blessing on those who labour to keep them up to scratch. But we remember that the Old Testament temple is now fulfilled in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray that you would help our lives to shine in his glory that it may be a beacon for others to draw them closer to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's spend some individual time putting before God the thoughts and concerns of our own hearts. Please pause the video to enable yourself to do that. A shortened version of the Collect for this week, the 16th after Trinity. O Lord, hear our prayers. Grant us to know what we should be doing, and give us your grace and power to do it faithfully and for your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's use the Lord's Prayer as we pray to God in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may we be on our guard as our Lord Jesus has warned us, and keep the faith. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.